Welcome back to our channels, Warriors. We are still growing. If you haven't had Connie Gibson, who single-handedly destroyed the California Department of Corrections by hiring the most incompetent imbeciles, smash that subscribe button. Go ahead and have her smash it right now. First and foremost, let me give a shout-out to the following patrons. Coleslaw, Las Vegas Flights Live. Go check them out. Shower Shark, the Food Port Hostage Negotiator. Priya These Nuts, Lockdown 5, Crystal Bond, La Reina, Hernan, Don't Trip. Winston, Armando, Alejandro, Trailero 760, Breathing Underwater, El Skid, Hobie Cat, Lead With Love, Albert 12, AI Vega, Esquiel, Big Bad 48, JT, Nova, Jack, Linda the Retired CEO, Michigan Wolverines, Mikey 559, The Homie Marius, Chevelle 66, Abuelita Irma, Abuelita's Journey, Gigi and Dallas Herrero. I want to thank you patrons from the bottom of my heart. You guys are the heartbeat that keeps this channel pumping. Thank you. Gracias a ti. Eso. This episode right here, motherfuckers. Holy shit, man. The hell? The fuck is in here? <laughs> I, don't, I don't play around, G. The fuck? <laughs> Yesterday, I did a Q&A question and answer on my Instagram, Hector underscore underscore Bravo. Now, a lot of people be asking questions. Sometimes it gets towards the end of the day, and I don't get to answer the question. The Spensa, my bad. But one of those questions that I did not get to answer on the Instagram was, somebody wrote, Hector, why do you train so hard? Are you training up for something? Okay. And I'm assuming he was talking about my workout routine, my workout regimen, my fitness, can I get a witness, and so on and so forth, right? It's been like that. It's been like that since day one, all right? And this isn't a political channel, but I will use current affairs to, I was going to say push my narrative, but there ain't no fucking narrative to push, to... uh kind of put an exclamation point on things, right? Israel declares war and approves significant steps to retaliate for surprise attack by Hamas. I don't know if you guys be paying attention to the news. I told you I got I don't be paying attention to the news, but when I start seeing things on the feeds pop up, boom boom boom, holy shit, something major happened. Well, what the hell happened in Israel? Well, Israel got attacked by as many as 1,000 Hamas fighters. All right, they straight fucking invaded that motherfucker, right? By land, sea, and air. Yeah, these little... Which brings it back to the original question of Hector, why do you train so hard? Are you training for something? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm training for when that day comes. Well, what day? The day that I have to use everything inside of me to survive, period. I don't give a fuck. Right. This whole show is called Warriors in the Garden. Period. Meaning that even though current times right now got the nice AC going, got the Chanate brewing. We're in the garden, right? That don't mean that we get to kick our feet up, relax, pretend that everything's honky dory, pretend that we're untouchable, pretend that shit can't happen to us. No, that would be setting yourself up for, for failure. That'll be a false sense of security. Thirteen months. Thirteen months I did in Iraq. As a grunt with the first infantry division, OIF two, Operation Iraqi Freedom Two, between the year well, the whole entire year of two thousand four. California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation. Sixteen years. Eight of those as an officer. Boots on the ground in the trenches. Right. If it's one thing I've seen, known, participated in, it's war. Period. Right. Your boy has seen what happens when you strip all luxury items. Right. When you take away the Starbucks. When you take away the Walmarts. When you take away the Jack in the Boxes. 
when you take away the Barnes and Nobles, when you take away the Vons, the Walmarts. Did I ever say Walmarts? Fuck. And when humans go at it to attempt to kill each other, attempt to kill one another, period. I was going to talk about the differences and similarities between combat in Iraq and war and the violence in a prison, but I'll just talk about the differences. All right. In prison, you're going to have one armed individual with a knife and another armed individual with a knife. Unless you're an officer, you don't have to be having a knife. Now you're bringing a baton and pet spray to a knife fight. Either way, you're going to have two individuals fighting each other. Okay. That's a fair. That's fair. Right. Now you're probably thinking, what the hell? Excuse me. Motherfucker just said fair. At least you have a fighting chance. Right. You have a fighting chance. Even if it's 100 on one CO. You still kind of have a fighting chance. You you have the oppor- you had do have the <laughs> opportunity to you know throw your arms around in the air, probably protect yourself. Have a gunner, right? You have a gunner up at the top shooting. Versus combat, <sighs> there was things called roadside bombs, IEDs. You cannot defend yourself against that. You're driving old Betsy down the road, right? You're driving on the eight freeway and. Boom! My goodness, there goes fucking half of everybody fucked up. Pieces, people everywhere. Fucking goddamn car flipped over, right? Who, where can you turn your anger, your rage, your violence, your war to? Nobody. Ain't nobody there, right? Keep on knocking, but you can't come in. Indirect mortar fire. Rockets, missiles, mortars, indirect fire. How can you pr- pr- protect yourself against that, right? You're, you're hanging out on your fob, your, your camp, and next thing you know, it's raining down, right? It's raining freaking strap metal, shrapnel all over. Can't defend yourself against that. Car bombs. <laughs> Don't even get me started on the car bombs. Probably the worst fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. The destruction and devastation of a car bomb. You cannot protect yourself against that, right? Now that you guys know the differences, now that you guys know uh, that the war in Israel kicked off, Hector, why the hell do you work out so fucking hard? What are you training for? What are you preparing for? I'm preparing for the worst fucking day of my life. That hasn't happened yet. Right, So when the time comes, I'm going to be ready. Be ready so you don't have to get ready. I didn't make that up, but I did steal that. My manager's texting me. Uh, I'm in the process of getting a new manager. right? Not because I'm firing the old one, but because I'm, <laughs> your boy is growing. A grower, not a shower. Um, You know, it's bad enough that when you die, you're going to piss and shit yourself, right? I'm not going to hold any punches on this one. It's bad enough that when you die, you're going to piss and shit yourself, period, right? That's what the body does. But I do not want to... I've seen men weep right before they die. I've seen the look of sheer terror in people's eyes right before they died. Like bewilderment. And I don't want to go out like that, right? I want to go out fucking fighting. No, I will go out fighting, period. It's not I want to. I mean, I've done everything up until this day to prepare for that day. <sighs> well, Hector, what the hell are you talking about, man? You, this, we, live in, <laughs> we live in America, the land of the free, the home of the brave, man. We, our police officers are going to take care of us. <laughs> We got laws, we got rules, we got gun laws, man. We shouldn't be having to do any of this. (laughs) 
Oh, fuck. <laughs> furthermore, furthermore, I have a daughter, right? And I have a wife. You bet your ass I will always put myself first in head of any threat for them, right? Facts. I saw a fucked up video come out of that Israeli... Uh, Okay, your boy has a ha bad habit of sometimes watching cartel execution videos. Not often, but sometimes they'd be popping up, right, when they shouldn't be popping up. And I saw a fucked up video of Israel, of this invasion. It was a father, a mother, and two children. Well, they had just killed one of the daughters. And I could see the dad right there, man. And I'm, I'm like, no way. I would never, I could never be in that position. Right. Like, I think it's one thing I learned. It's always to fight and resist. Or they say if you become a PO, P, uh, POW, prisoner of war, you should attempt to escape at all times. Right. You should always. Uh, even in your head. Like play games on with them. Right. I don't know how people can't see it. I don't know if they choose not to see it. I don't know if they never saw it till this episode. Look at places like Venezuela, Brazil, Israel, Syria, Mexico, cartels, France now. Look at all these fucking places. For you to think that. I mean, look at the United States. You can get got. Oh, you can get got, right? And you better have the mentality to not get got. Um, I, I, I didn't say too much, but I said a lot, if that made any sense. That is why I train hard, right? Because in the moment of truth, I'm not saying I'm invincible. That's what I'm not saying. That's for damn sure, right? When, when it's go time, it's all the way go time. But I'm going to bring my best. Period, I'm going to bring my motherfucking best. With that, the message for today is, if your eyes were not open before, hopefully they are now, you need to be physically fit, mentally strong, and morally straight. With that, keep pushing forward.